Hey guys, so recently playing Apex Legends, I've noticed a lot of people mention that the aim feels off compared to other first person shooters and battle royale type games. I had the same issue when I first started playing and I played around with some of the in-game settings and a few other settings that you can play with on your mouse. And for me now, it feels just like every other first person shooter. This is just a quick run through of how I did that so that you can do the same, so that your aim will feel right in the game and a few other little tweaks that you can make to the game settings just to make it so that your game runs as smooth as possible most frames per second to make sure that you're getting those shots on when you're aiming. Let's get into it. First thing you can do, depending on the type of mouse you've got, is you can go into the mouse's software and change some of the options in it. I've got a Razer mouse, so I use the Razer mouse software. In that, I set my DPI to 400. You can set it to 600 or 800 or whatever you like. I feel like a lot of people play on very high sensitivity and that that's great for RTS games and other games, but for FPS, you really want to have a low sensitivity. So for me, I think 400 is good. A lot of people find that way too low. Maybe try 800 if you're used to playing on a high sensitivity and get used to it. You also need a much larger mouse pad area to uh, play on if you're playing that way and quicker arm movements as opposed to little wrist flicks. Have a try at 800 if you're used to higher sensitivity. If you're good at lower sensitivity, go to 400, that's where I play. The other thing you can set in there is your polling rate or hertz, depending on what, what it's called in your mouse's software. I've got mine set to 1000. Some mice won't go that high. There's not a huge difference between 1000 and 500. I mean, there is, it's double the difference, but you don't notice a massive difference. But if you can do 1000, run it at 1000 hertz or polling rate frequency of 1000. The next thing you can do, you can go into your Windows mouse settings by typing mouse settings into your search bar at the bottom left. Select the mouse settings, then in there you want to go into the additional mouse options. And then within the additional mouse options, you want to change to the tab at the top, which is called pointer options. And ensure that you don't have enhanced pointer precision turned on. You want that off. Just apply that and click OK. So next, open up Apex Legends. Go into your settings on the bottom right, then go into your mouse slash keyboard settings you want to set your mouse sensitivity to around three you can probably go a little higher again if you're used to having a much higher sensitivity for me having dpi at 400 and mouse sensitivity set to three is spot on for how i'm used to playing and how i'm used to shooting in all my other games it'll probably take you a bit of getting used to if you're not used to playing on low sensitivity but once you get used to it your aim is going to be unbelievably better you want to also make sure your ads mouse sensitivity is set to one mouse acceleration off 100% make sure that's off because it'll completely throw off the aim every time you move it speeds up or slows down your mouse movement you, you just don't want that on right so the next bit you go into is your video settings at the top you can set borderless window or full screen mode depending on what you prefer I run borderless window just so that I can cross in and out of screens when I'm streaming set your aspect ratio to whatever works for your screen Set the resolution to what works for your screen. Your field of view you can adjust. I have mine at 104 because it gives me a little bit wider range of view. Colorblind mode you can set to whatever you prefer. If you can turn VSync off, it gives you a little bit extra performance. For some reason when I try to stream this game and VSync is off, it completely stuffs up my frames per second in stream. So I leave mine on adaptive. FPS target you want to zero. Anti-aliasing I have to TSAA. Texture streaming budget. You want it as high as you can run it without causing problems. So for me, if I have it at very high, which is six gigabyte of VRAM, that's fine. But if I try to move it up to the insane level at, at eight gigabytes of VRAM, I get this message saying that I don't have enough to fiddle it out. And I've tried running it that way. It just doesn't seem right. It feels chunky. So I run it at what suits mine. The texture filtering, again, set it what suits you. I run it at four because, again, my system seems to chunk if I change it around anywhere from there. Pretty much every other setting here is going to affect the GPU load, so your video cards load. So you want to turn them down where you can. I run ambient, occlusion quality at disabled, sun shadow coverage at low, sun shadow detail at low, spot shadow detail at disabled, volumetric lighting disabled, dynamic spot shadows disabled. Model detail I run at high because it gives you much better render quality over your targets when you're trying to find people and shoot at them. Other than that, everything else Effects detail low, impact marks low, ragdoll low. It doesn't make much difference to the look of the game to me, but it does make a difference to how much load's getting put on your GPU. Best just to run it all at low and get the most out of your system so that you don't miss any frames and miss shots. So that's pretty much it for how to fix your aim in Apex Legends. Hope you enjoyed the little extra bit just to give you those few extra frames. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If it helped you in any way, subscribe to the channel as that always helps the channel to grow. The bigger it grows, the more and better quality content I can give to you, which is good for us all. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Have a good day and don't forget, you're awesome.